So in this video, we are going to try and find the li invariant lines of the transformation given by this matrix here. A is 3, 2, 5, 6. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to assume that the lines are of the form y equals mx plus c. Now the idea here is that when I apply 3, 2, 5, 6 to a pair of coordinates x, y, they're going to be mapped to another set of coordinates x prime, y prime. Okay? Now, the x, y, okay, are on this line. And the x prime, y prime are also on that line. Okay? So that's something that you need to make sure you're clear on. So if I multiply this through, I'm going to get 3x plus 2y, and I'm going to get 5x plus 6y. And that's going to be equal to the x prime, y prime. Now, what I can then do is I can just look at the top row. So x prime is equal to 3x plus 2y. And I know that the y, OK, because remember the line is y is equal to mx plus c. So I can substitute the y for mx plus c here. Likewise, for y prime, that's 5x plus 6y, so 5x plus 6 lots of y, the mx plus c. So let's simplify these. So what we've got here is, um, so I've got the 3x plus 2mx. So if I factorise that, I'm going to get, um, so putting the x out, I'll have 3 plus 2mx plus two lots of c. And likewise here, I've got 5x plus 6mx, so pulling the x out, 5 plus 6mx plus 6 lots of c. Now remember, the x prime and y prime are also points that are on this line y equals mx plus c. Okay, so if these are the x prime and y prime are the coordinates that I know are on this line, then if I substitute these into this, okay, everything should still work. So the y here is this. So we've got this 5 plus 6m x plus 6c. And that's going to be equal to m times the x prime. So 3 plus 2m x plus 2mc. And I've got that plus c on the end as well. OK, so now what I want to do is I want to get this simplified. So uh, what we will do is we're going to move everything onto the right-hand side of the equation. OK? Um, I'm also going to pull the m into this bracket here. So let's do that for a bit first. So that will give us 3m plus 2m squared. So 3m plus 2m squared. OK? So... If I factorise both those brackets out, so we've got the 2m squared, I'm going to have the 3m, take away 6m, so take away 3m, and I've got to have this 5 that's moving to the other side as well, so take away 5x. Okay? Now, what I've got left are the c's, the things that have the c in it. So I've got the 6c, the 2mc, the c here. So I can factor that out, so I'm going to have the 2m... Um, taking 6c from both sides, I'll get left with minus 5c over here, so take away 5c. OK, so this has got to be equal to 0. So this left-hand side you can kind of think of as 0x plus 0. So thinking about, like, well, the left-hand side has got to be the same as the right-hand side, so whatever's in front of the x here has got to be 0. We need x to vary. So x can't be 0, so the bracket needs to be 0. So 2m squared minus 3m minus 5 has got to be 0. So if we plug that into our quadratic solver, 2 minus 3 minus 5, 
we get that m would have to be 5 halves or minus 1. Now, not only that has that got to be 0, but this has got to be 0 as well, because the left-hand side is 0. So 2m minus 5 times, zero, times c rather has got to be 0. So either the m is 5 halves here as well, or the c is 0. OK, now what this is actually telling you is that if m is 5 halves, then both this and this is 0. OK, so y equals 5 halves x. Now, the thing about that is that because that bracket is 0 when m is 5 halves, c can be anything you like. So that means that there are a whole family of invariant lines, OK? So that value of c could be 2, minus 18, a billion. It doesn't matter. Any point that starts on the line y equals 5 halves x plus c will remain on that line after this transformation, OK? So that's quite a big result from this. But that's not the only thing. Um, so if m is minus 1, then this bracket 0, well, that bit 0. This bracket won't be 0, so that means the c would have had to have been 0. So y is equal to minus 1x plus 0 is also an invariant line. So points that start on y equals minus x will remain on y equals minus x. They might move about the line, but they will remain on the line. So this is how you can find invariant lines of a 2 by 2 uh, matrix.